Here we go. What is up guys, it's Caden here from New Age Gun Guru, bringing you another video your way. Today I have something really special. Today we're gonna go ahead and put a head-to-head -head against the Glock 19 versus its brand new competitor, the CZ P10C, guys. This is gonna be a great, interesting video. Make sure you stay tuned. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. All right, guys, so here we are, sitting on the back of the truck. We got the brand new CZ P10C and then the old dog, the Glock 19 Gen 4. Okay, as you can see in the background, we got a couple different types of ammunition. Right back here, we got some Salier and Baylot uh, handgun ammunition. This is some uh, relatively inexpensive uh, ammunition, but it's not too bad. It's full metal jacket, it has brass case, and it's not too bad. Um, next, we have some Tula ammo. Uh, this stuff, as everybody knows, it to be very cheap, very inexpensive. And then right in the middle, right here, are just some of my own reloads that I have a family member that reloads a lot, and he does reloads for me. So uh, some of my own little reloads that I have going on there. Um, I think that they're 124 grain bullets, so if you guys were wondering what the grainage is on them, that's about what it is. Can't remember exactly what foot pound per second they are, but they're just basically your standard reloads. What we got going on here today is we have a little course that we're going to put these guys through and a couple of small tests that we're going to do. I want to put these head to head and see what really is the best performing pistol. Is it going to be the new one or is it going to be the old one? Which one do you guys think it is? If you guys already think you know, go ahead and put down in the comments section what your opinion is. I'd love to hear it. So just behind me I have a course that I've set up using some USPSA targets. They're the official ones that they use. Those are going to be the targets that we're going to go use. And we're going to go ahead and run a course with both these pistols to kind of get a better idea as well as that we're going to go ahead and do some shooting tests with the different types of ammo to see which ones are functioning better and then of course i'm just going to give you my all-around general opinion after running the course after shooting some different ammo through the guns shooting some different grips which one i think actually belongs on top and where you should definitely be spending your money now this gun right here actually has already got uh, 750 rounds through it so far so I have shot this gun quite a bit this gun right here was actually lent to me by a friend because I don't own one myself um, but this is lent to me by a friend this gun has probably around 800 rounds through it if I had to guess just by the wear and tear that I can see inside the gun nothing has been changed on this this is brand new this is stock there's nothing changed on this Glock also there's nothing changed it's got your standard Glock sights on it it's got the standard Glock barrel. Nothing in there is changed at all. So, this is a pretty great comparison video. So let's go ahead and go check out the target. Okay, so for anybody who doesn't know what a USPSA target looks like, it's just one of these. I've made my own stands for them, just using some wood and some uh, little stands that I've made by welding them together. Um, basically what you got is you got a few different sections in here. You have these little dotted A's like this, up in the chest cavity which is then followed by c's and d's as well so the idea is that you're going to of course want a's and then uh up here in the head you have b and then you have a again so of course a's are basically saying kill shots uh anything else than that is basically an injury or a wound in the real uh competition you would uh, lose points for hitting anything but an a uh, well you still get points but basically you're not going to get as many points as if you were to hit just the a so the idea today is we're going to want to see which one we can do the best with, basically just running it through this. It's also really good just to kind of simulate for if you were to ever be in some type of a situation. Hey guys, so for the first test that I want to do, I want to do a cycle test. We're going to go ahead and start on the worst that it could be. So tool ammo today will be the worst that it could be uh, for what we have out here. So the first one that's going to go is the Glock. We're going to go ahead and run one mag of tool ammo through it just to see how it cycles and if it will function. Then we'll run a, the same mag of tool ammo through the CZ P10 and see if we have any malfunctions there either. Hopefully they both can pass this test with flying colors. All right guys, so first test right here. We got the Glock 19 Gen 4, some tool ammo. We're gonna shoot 10 rounds through it just to conserve a little bit. I mean, 10 rounds is enough to see whether or not this stuff will cycle. So without further ado, get that stuff growing. Go ahead and shoot some rounds here.
All right, guys, we have one failure to eject so far. Right here, we have just a little bit of a case hold up. Okay. Go. Force it into. All right. So, one failure. We had one failure to eject. So that seems to be just about it for the Glock 19. Uh, other than that, it, it, it pretty much ran flawlessly. But uh, as we all know, tool ammo isn't really self-defense round, so we don't expect it to run too great anyway. So the one hiccup ain't too bad. All right, guys, so up next, we have the CZ P10C here. Uh, we have some tool ammo, 10 rounds again. We're going to go ahead and shoot it as a, as a cycling test to see if it will run tool ammo. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, no malfunctions on the CZ. Pretty impressive, shot all 10 rounds just fine. So, let's go ahead and load up the next type of ammo and see how it functions. That will be reloads, let's go back to the table. Okay guys, moving on, we're gonna go ahead and do that same thing, except for this time, we're gonna go ahead and use reloads. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and use the cellular ballot, ballot uh, ammo right there. So that's just our cheap, higher grade stuff that we're shooting today. Again, right now we're gonna do reloads and then we'll go back to the store-bought, nicer quality All right, stuff. guys, so again, up first is the Glock 19 Gen 4, shooting reloads out of it. So let's go ahead and see how she does. Okay, function wise it was great. No problems, no hiccups anywhere. Complete the whole 10 rounds, no hiccups. Great. Okay, up next we have our CZ P10C. Shooting reloads out of it, 10 rounds to see if it cycles. Let's go ahead and start. No problems there guys, full 10 rounds out of her. Went ahead and shot flawlessly. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to the store bot, kind of mid-range uh, plinking material. So let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so now up, we have the Glock 19 Gen 4 with Cellier and Bella ammo in it. We're gonna go ahead and do a cycle test. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, ran flawlessly once again. Nah, uh, I didn't expect it to have any problems with that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and move on and do the same test now with the CZ P10C. Okay, again CZ P10C. Nice plinking rounds bought from the store, cellular and billet. Let's go ahead and see how it runs. Once again guys, no problems feeding there. Just fine, just grandy, just great. So, now we've finished this up, let's go ahead and step into the next part of our comparison. Okay guys, so moving on to the next part of this, we're gonna go ahead and start doing some draw testing. Basically just seeing which one feels better, coming out of the waistband and drawing the pistol and getting it up on target. So to do that, we're still gonna be shooting that steel. We're just gonna be timing how long it takes to get one round off. For that, we're just gonna go ahead and be using some reloads. For the rest of the video, now that we've done the function test, we're gonna go ahead and just be using these reloads for the rest of the test. Also, one last little thing before we get started any farther. We're gonna be using the Pocket Pro 2 today to time all of our uh, sets and everything like that, all of our stages. So that way we kind of have a better idea of how long it takes us for everything. These are really great timers, guys. If you don't already have one, they're nice and cheap and affordable, but they do a great job at actually um, timing everything. 
Also, as far as equipment goes, I wanted you to know that we're going to be using the same holster on each gun. So I'll go ahead and take off the holster and show you what we're going to do. will be the inside the waistband holster we will be using when we start doing some draw testing on them. Just so you guys know, we're going to be using the same one on each. It fits both pistols just fine. There's no malfunctions with either that I've found. So they're both pretty fair to put into there. So I think that it's a fine holster to run the test with. All right, guys, again, time for the drawing test. We're going to start off with the Glock 19 using Pocket Pro right here. We're going to get our times. I'll just be clipping this onto my pocket. We're going to draw up. Hit one of the steel targets first round, see how long it takes. Also, just so you know, this is set on a random beep. As soon as I hit this side button, it could happen at any point. Just to demonstrate, let's show you how it would work. So if I hit it now, it didn't go off until you heard that err. Uh. So as soon as you hear that little beep come out of the machine, that's when I'm supposed to draw the pistol and fire shots. All right, guys, so getting ready, I'm gonna go ahead and push the button now. Okay, so 2.51 seconds from a concealed in the waistband draw. Not the best, not the worst. Uh, I have a button up shirt on today, so it's a little bit tighter on me. So it does make it a little bit harder and a little bit slower. But let's go ahead and move on to the CZ and see how that does. Okay guys, CZ in the waistband. Draw from the holster test from inside waistband once again. We're gonna go ahead and push the button and we're gonna see just how long it takes. Okay, so I'm gonna push the button now. Okay guys, so, clear the gun real quick. That was just a little bit faster, okay? That was uh, 2.12. Now just so you guys know, I only did each of these once. I didn't give myself any leniency. These were just done one time a piece. So if I messed up on one, that's too bad. That's real world situation. I only get one time each if I'm going to be defending myself. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next part of our tests. Okay, guys, so to start, we're going to start right here on this rock right here at my first initial starting point to mark it. And we're going to be shooting at this target. Just so you know, on all the USP SA targets, I'm going to be putting two rounds to the chest on each. That is the goal on the first run. We might do another run and try another goal. But for the first run, that is going to be the goal. So after we do two shots on this target, we're gonna run over here to this log that I've put in the middle. And this is gonna be our next firing line. Our next firing line, we're gonna go ahead and try to hit the two red dangling targets. We're gonna try and get a hit on both. Then after that, we're gonna sprint over here to this next little piece of wood. And this will be the firing location for this next USPSA target. After that, we're gonna run up next to the USPSA target, basically double it as a wall, and kind of shoot this target peeking around it. That's the last USPSA target. Now, we're not allowed to shoot it any closer. We're gonna be doing it from behind here, kind of simulating a cover shot at another uh, target. Okay guys, so moving on to the last part of our shooting test. It's going to go ahead and run the stage. I've already outlined it for you guys so you know what we're going to do. It's going to be time with that same pocket timer that I was using for the draw test. Just so you guys all know. Each of the guns is uh, loaded up with one full magazine. They each hold 15 rounds a piece. So it should be even on round count. Again, each of the USPCSA targets are going to receive two shots. And then the steel target will also receive two shots, except for it will be one on each piece of dangling steel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it and start running the stage. All right, guys. So up first, we have the Glock 19 Generation 4. Once again, we're shooting reloads. And this is the stage. We're only going to do one take on each of them on the stage. So whatever happens, happens. And that's its score. Again, we're going for A targets right in the chest. We're not going for headshots on this one. If we do another run and go for headshots, we might do that, but we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the mag in, round in the chamber. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer for it to go off randomly, and then we'll be off and away. All right, guys, so that's the end of the stage. Let's go ahead and clear this weapon real quick. Mag out. 
Okay, chamber's going ahead. Okay, holster the weapon. Okay guys, that's our time. 18.91, not too shabby. Not whatsoever. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape up all the targets. That way it's fresh. And then we'll go ahead and run it with the P10C. All right guys, so running through the course and see how we did. We got two A hits right here on this first USPSA. I know that on that uh, steel target, I missed both shots, unfortunately. Coming up to the second USPSA, we got two shots right there. And then up to the last one, behind the cover, two USPSA, I mean, two shots in the USPSA target in A. So, the only thing missed on that whole run would be the steel, which isn't too bad, but I mean, I uh, missed the steel. That's just how the gun ran for me. I mean, I'm trying to go quick and be just as accurate as I can. I missed two shots. Let's go ahead and run the P10C, see how it does, see how it stacks up after we tape it up. So unfortunately, for some reason, the audio didn't record on this. It was a really hot day out here in Utah. I mean, we were over 100 degrees. So I figured I'd just hurry and voice over this little part. This is the P10C running that same test that we just ran with the Glock. Um, sorry again about there being no audio. I really wish there would have been because audio makes it just a lot better. So again, I apologize. So it's kind of hard to see, but right here it ran an 18.3 as it says on the screen just in case some of you guys are having a hard time reading it so on that first USPSA target you can see those are two a hits right there I came up to this one and I uh, I remember I hit the steel one time on that if you look back on the video you could see it and then on our second USPSA target I believe I got one hit in the a and then there was one that actually slipped out into the C so what I was basically saying is that I'll count the C as a miss. So it basically equals out uh, as many misses as I had with the Glock since I missed the steel twice with the Glock. Uh, that's basically what I'm explaining right there in the video since there's still no audio on this loop. And then up here on the last target, I believe I also got two A hits. Um, so basically, it turns out that both runs had the same amount of hits, so it all narrowed down to time on which one was faster. All right, guys, I wanna go ahead and do one more run through the stage. This time it'll be just a little bit different. Rather than going for just A shots on the body, this time I wanna go ahead and do one headshot each on the USPSA targets, trying to get it in the A, but honestly, if it's on that top square, that's not too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and run it now. Same way, Glock's 19 going first, and then of course, the CZ P10C following after. Another reason why I kind of wanted to do this is because now I kind of know the course a little bit better myself now that I've ran it twice. And I think that we should see uh, this kind of eviling it out and kind of seeing what it would really be like if the person knew the course and knew what was going on. So we're going to go ahead and run it one more time with each of the pistols with a little bit of a different objective. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Okay, again, up first is the Glock 19 Generation 4. Again, headshots only on this one. So let's go ahead and get a round in the chamber on this bad boy. And then low ready start, gonna go ahead and push the button. Okay guys, that's time. Let's go ahead and get the weapon cleared before we check the times. All right, so, Glock 19, time, 16.33. I know that we missed one of the steals again, but uh, 16.33, let's go ahead and walk around and see how we did as far as headshots go. All right, looking at this first one, right below the A. Headshot though, that'd be a dead man. Again, right here, hit the 
left side on that steel target, and then we uh, missed the other one. Coming back over here, got an A head shot right there. Then coming up here, looks like we have another head shot. Not quite an A, but it's still a head shot. So, that's all head shot hits as far as it goes for the Glock 19. Only missed one shot on that steel. So, on a round that has one, two, three, four, five, we hit four or five shots that we need to hit. Okay, let's go ahead and run that same test now with the CZ P10C. All right, guys, so again, CZ P10C right here. Gonna go ahead and do the only headshot stage. Of course, we're still hitting that steel too. So let's go ahead and get around the chamber. And then we're gonna go ahead and push the button. Go ready. All right, guys, let's go ahead and clear this weapon. Holster. Fourteen point eight eight seconds. Well, again, I saw one miss that I can definitely tell you was a miss, and that would be on the right side steel. We keep missing that today. I don't know why, but we do. We keep missing that right side steel, but I think everything else had a hit. So we'll go back and we'll check it out, make sure that I'm being or I'm saying the correct thing. All right, so let's go check it out. Okay, so this first target, pretty much same spot. Right there, right through that tape. Again, we hit the left side, not the right side. Came up here to this next target in the wood. And um, hit right above the AA, so not too bad. That's another hit. Now this last one. You have a hit right up here on the top of the head. Blow your brains out. Definitely a kill shot. Again. So, that's all hits besides one. Again, another four or five hits. So, as far as hits go, they're about the same. Uh, Time-wise, not so much. So, we, I only have one more test I really wanna do with these guys while I'm out here. And then we'll meet back up in the garage for a recap and uh, kind of let everybody know what's going on. So, go ahead and get ready for that last okay, test. Okay guys, last test for these two guns while we're out here today. It's kind of something silly, but um, honestly it is important a little bit. Um, we're gonna go ahead and see how fast we can dump a mag out of each of them. Not necessarily that it's practical or ever will be used, but it is just kind of nice to see um, kind of as far as like the internals and the trigger on how they work It'll give us a good idea if there's a really a huge jump between triggers and resets and stuff like that in these guns Which we already know there is a pretty big difference So let's go ahead and see if that actually affects how fast we can actually dump a mag on these This test again won't really be much about accuracy We're gonna be shooting at the steel I mean if we get hits on the steel great if we don't but they're just near and around it That's also fine it's just going to be mainly about uh, how fast we can go ahead and dump a mag. Um, again, we'll be using that same little pocket timer. So let's just go ahead and jump in. All right, guys. First up for the mag dump, we got the Glock 19 Gen 4. So let's go ahead and get a round in the chamber. And then we'll go ahead and start the pocket watch. And let's see how fast we can do this. Okay, weapon's clear. 4.12 seconds on the Glock. Not bad. That's 15 rounds in four seconds. Again, all of them were hitting right there around it. Had one or two little hits on the steel. Again, this test was not about hitting. It was about how fast we can get these rounds in the air. So, that's the answer on the Glock. Let's 
move on to the CZ. All right, same mag test, I mean, same mag dump test, CZ P10C. Let's go ahead and get around the chamber and we'll start the watch. Here we go. All right, guys. That reset on that is amazing. I am not even kidding. It's just boom, 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 boom. It's so short, that reset really is. And I mean, all those bullets are hitting just right there behind it, as we will be able to see when we go back. I mean, it's so easy to control muzzle rise on this too. It's just, just boom, 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 boom. Let's go ahead and look at the time. 3.52. Not too bad for 15 rounds, guys. Not too bad. Okay, let's go ahead and regroup at the truck and we'll kind of do a recap. All right, guys, so thank you for joining me out here for the shooting test and the comparison. Let's go ahead and meet back up in the garage to go ahead and kind of do a recap on everything we've seen out here. So yeah, this was really fun. I had a great time comparing these two, doing all sorts of fun, funky things that you probably would never need to really worry about too bad, especially the mag dump. But um, it was just a good time and it was a great little test to have. So let's go ahead and meet back up in the garage. Here we go.